For over 100 years, the Swift Current Fire Department has been serving its community through dedication, accountability, and above all else, adaptability. hasn't always been the efficient, well-trained organization we see today. In 1898, the hamlet of Swift Current had a volunteer fire brigade. As retired firefighter Max Moreau explains, the fire department here, before the turn of the century, was pretty loose-ended. It was kind of a, uh, a raggedy bunch of guys that were uh, just willing to serve as volunteer firefighters. Uh, concerned with the safety of Swift Current, of course, but uh, very poorly organized at that period in time. Early on, the village's only public building, which was used as a fire hall, moved to four temporary locations within two years. And the fire hall, at the time, was only a shack with firefighting equipment to match. It was kind of interesting because uh, the city really hadn't uh, firmly decided where they are going to have the fire hall. So it was moved around from time to time, and whenever there was a vacant building, they would move into it. So lots of times when there was a, a call for a fire, they had to fire, find the fire hall first. In 1909, Swift Current was booming, and it wasn't long before council realized the need for a permanent fire hall. With a budget of $12,000 and a group of day laborers, they were finally ready to move into the new fire hall in 1910. With the incentive of free lodging, they organized the volunteer fire department with Edwin J. Cooper as the first fire chief. But unfortunately, the excitement of the new fire hall was short-lived, as it was gutted by fire in 1912. That fire not only highlighted the need to improve building regulations, but it also forced the town council to build a proper fire hall. Back then, there wasn't uh, any stipulations as to the building code. So consequently, most of the homes and businesses in the city of Swift Current Town at that time were uh, wood construction. Of course, they heated with coal and wood, and uh, their lighting was kerosene. So uh, the opportunity for fire was certainly there. And it wasn't until later on that they established a rule in council that uh, made it mandatory for businesses especially to build with brick. The new fire hall marked the beginning of a new era for the growing community. Uh, it was completed in 1914 and that was kind of the start of, the, of a major fire department in the city of Swift Current. That building still serves as Swift Current's fire hall today and it was also the location of City Hall from 1921 to 1959. Over the years the fire hall has seen some upgrades. There was additional square footage added in 1975, as well as 1987, to allow for storage of bigger vehicles and equipment. It was used as a police department for a short period of time, and uh, the uh, courtroom was up in the, in the top floor. And then uh, again, uh, after the police uh, moved, after the RCMP took over here in the city of Swift Current, that portion of the building was restored back to storage for, for firefighting equipment. And uh, a, a gym was uh, made where the jail cells were, and uh, a small museum where the office was in place now. Not only has the fire hall improved over time, but so has equipment, vehicles, 
and the technology used to suppress fire. Uh, well, the ladder trucks were definitely a, a big thing, the snorkels and the extended ladders, and uh, of course now we have tankers. Uh, we're dealing with dangerous goods, so we have a truck that's designated for dangerous goods. Um, motor vehicle accidents, the equipment's been updated there, they have the state-of-the-art equipment. They've got the state-of-the-art manpower, they're well-trained, uh, high-angle rescue, trench rescue, uh, dangerous goods. Um, just goes on and on. We've got a fantastic fire department here, probably one of the best in Canada, I would say. From the first chemical fire engine to aerials, pumpers, and tankers, the Swift Current Fire Department has been a leader in developing firefighting strategies over the past 100 years. Quite an evolution. When you look back, this uh, department has changed a lot and right across the province in terms of firefighting techniques are better. Of course, they're dealing with a lot of different things now, dangerous goods, and uh, you know, there's so many other aspects in terms of firefighting. During the early 90s, the fire department was a major player in the development of the regional 911 pilot project for Southwest Saskatchewan. I think the 911 system was a real uh, change. Like We didn't have that system before. That's been a real asset to the community to be, to be able to dial one number for all emergency service, police, fire and ambulance. That's been probably one of the biggest factors in changing this operation. As equipment, trucks and methods evolve throughout the years, so has the role of the fire department within the community of Swift Current. No longer is their main priority solely the fighting of fires. Today's responder is dispatched to every type of emergency situation with roadside accidents one of their largest areas of responsibility. Also, public education, both in terms of fire prevention and in terms of ensuring that systems are in place to minimize the damage should a fire occur. No longer a sole focus job, it is a multifaceted career. In 1946, Fire Chief Lovestone was the first full-time paid firefighter. Under his leadership, the department staff was increased to 12 full-time paid firefighters by the time he retired, 10 years later, in 1956. In the years to follow, the Swift Current Fire Department became very proactive in promoting and educating the citizens in fire safety awareness. Oh, definitely. Uh, the public should be informed as to what they have to do to keep their premises safe. Along with that awareness came the mandatory use of smoke alarms improved building codes, and the use of sprinkler systems. With the increasing responsibilities of the fire department, also came the recognition that physical fitness plays an important role. The, um, these guys run, they train hard, it's, it's necessary. Sometimes the job can be very demanding physically, especially when you get into motor vehicle accidents, situations like that. Uh, High angle rescue requires a great degree of fitness to, to rappel down those uh, cape ropes. Today, the Swift Current Fire Department prides itself on safeguarding our community through prevention and protection. All crew members are certified fire inspectors, EMTs, as well as fire prevention educators. Oh yeah, they, they've got to be physically fit, they have to pass an aptitude test, they have to be EMTs, they have to be well qualified before they can even uh, apply for a job. During Max's 10 years with the fire department, there were significant fires and events that stood out. That tanker bus collision on the Transcanada Highway 20 miles uh, west of here was uh, a major, major event. 23 young uh, CPR workers uh, lost their lives in that incident and our department responded to that. It was not a good day. Our city was in shock as a result of that and of course the uh, Fairview rink was set up as a morgue to handle the, uh, the lost and um, yeah it was a very difficult day and then again the bus accident with the hockey, four hockey players that we lost, that was a tragic day too and our guys responded to that and, and uh, I don't know whether they've really ever recovered from that because these were people that they knew playing hockey here in the city of Swift Current, really a loss you know. Max believes the mental training is equally as important as the physical to the modern day firefighter who has to deal with tragedies. They have uh, a post-traumatic stress uh, uh, program in place here for uh, 
tragedies where individuals, firefighters, are exposed to tragedies and, uh, and they deal with that and uh, keep everybody healthy physically and mentally. For Max, he always had a desire to be with emergency services, police, fire, or ambulance. It didn't matter as long as he was able to contribute. It wasn't until years later that my dream came true in 1978 and I had worked at a number of different places then and then all of a sudden this opportunity came up and it was almost too late because I was 38 years old. Not too many departments hire on guys that age but uh, they hired me. I was reasonably fit I guess and passed the aptitude test and uh, yeah it was, a, it was quite a ride after that. Uh, it was exciting. I miss that adrenaline rush still to this day, and every time the sirens sound, I, I get a little bit excited. <laughs> For over 100 years, the Swift Current Fire Department has responded to major fires and events, some with devastating losses. And the one constant has been the fire hall, which to date is the oldest operating hall in all of Saskatchewan. Swift Current's Fire Chief Dennis Pilon believes it has stood the test of time thanks to the men and women who've lived there. This building uh, has lasted a hundred years because it was built right in the first place. And, you know, over the hundred years, it's been the second home for all of our firefighters. And they've taken care of it, which is why it lasted so long and why it's in such good shape. This is our legacy. We need to protect it, maintain it, or copy it in some way, shape, or form. <laughs>